Welcome back. Now we have news from the Sporting Desk. Salgonkar Sports Club Secretary R. Gomes has revealed that the Vasco Bay side is close to signing Karim Ben Jarifa as their new coach. Gomes disclosed that talks were at an advanced level with the Moroccan coach and a deal could be finalized in the next few days. After recently parting ways with American tactician Tim Hankinson, I League struggler Salgaukar seemed to have found a perfect replacement in former Churchill brothers and Mohan Bagan coach Karim Ben Sharifa. Former Sporting Club de Goa coach Roy Barreto was the initial choice, but Ben Sharifa's exit from Mohan Bagan forced the Salgaukar officials to have a second thought. Club Secretary R. Gomes admitted that Salgaonkar have set their sights on roping in Ben Charifa, but a deal is yet to be finalized. We have been talking for the last three four days after we came to know that Karim is a free agent after he and Mon Bagan have decided to part away and we are uh, talking to him. Hopefully in a couple of days we should be able to come to a conclusion. Okay, how close are you in fact to signing Karim? We are at a very advanced stage. A uh, few of the points has to be clarified and then I don't think uh, we should have problem on that front. Okay, uh, was it true that uh, Sarbankar were eyeing uh, Roy Barreto, uh, former sporting coach? Yeah, we did talk to Roy Barreto for some time uh, prior to Kareem uh, episode. Mm -hmm. uh, once we came to know about Kareem's uh, release from uh, Mohan Bagan, uh, then I had to put a break towards Roy. Okay, uh, what actually made you look towards Kareem and not Roy? Because Kareem is a proven coach. He has already coached for last four years. And wherever he went, he has given good results. Sargaonkar currently occupy the 12th position in the 14-team I-League. A mid-table finish is the minimum that the management will expect from Ben Sharifa if he happens to join the Green Brigade. Everybody has very high expectations. Given a situation now that we are uh, third from the bottom, we will try and give him our uh, targets and hopefully come in a better standing than what we are now. A sports reporter from Panji, Patterson Fernandez, with video journalist Shan. Goa's swimming star and now a regular with the Indian swimming team Talasha Prabhu returned home on Wednesday after winning a gold medal at the South Asian Games in Dhaka in Bangladesh. Talasha has consistently made Goans proud at various national and international levels by winning medals in a highly competitive sport like swimming. In an exclusive interview to Prudent Media, Dempo's Goodwill brand ambassador Talasha expressed satisfaction on her development so far. Um, it's been pretty hectic, but the practice has paid off quite well. Um, hence, I've won, uh, I managed to win a medal uh, as well as I gave my best time for the recently concluded uh, SAF Games held in Bangladesh. Um, I gave my best timing of 59.8, which is my career best uh, till date. This is Talasha's second international gold medal. The last was in 2007 in Islamabad, Pakistan. The punji based girl remarked that the first one was more satisfying. My first international goal was more satisfying because I had not been into such a hectic practice before. But still I managed to give my best timing and I managed to get my first goal. So first is always the best. Talasha is based in Bangalore for a training with the Indian team and hence has had to sacrifice her family and friends as of now. But she finds her routine a lot of fun. It's quite fun, although I do miss my friends in Goa, I miss them a lot. But I'm having quite a lot of fun training in Bangalore. It's like I've got my own family there. And yep, I love training in Bangalore. The big test for Talasha will be this year's Commonwealth Games. And the 16-year-old is determined to work upon her shortcomings. Mostly in technique, because with technique, um, there are a lot of chances for getting better results. So I'd really love to improve my technique, such as kick and pull and stuff like that. A sports reporter from Panji, Noel Tsuza, 
with video journalist Shan. James Cameron's Avatar is a mind-blowing adventure and the most impressive and intricate work of art. This movie is nominated for as many as nine Oscars. This is a result of pure imagination and creativity. As you enjoy the making of Avatar, I take your leave. Take care and stay tuned to Prudent Media. Goodbye. He walks and talks and acts like me. Every nuance, every tiny bit of the performance that you see on the screen, things that you see them doing in the film. And that's where the power of the performance comes from. Sure. What's the intent of the actor? Let's go! that's designed in the... And what we get is their performance coming through the CGI character. Performers from that skeleton, you now get what the actors did to 100% translate to what you see the characters doing. Camera. And it would image the face while the actor was working. Characters. And we do that by using their muscles. It gives us a way to correspond emotion to what you actually see expressed in the character's face. <laughs> and performed by a non-human character. But they sent me here to learn your ways. What are you saying, Jake? You knew this would happen? Yes. I think people expected the act. What about this one? Run, don't run. Run, definitely run. In the middle of your everything that's going on around it. Oh, of all of the things that you thought was supposed to happen, and just do it. That you start hearing, seeing, feeling Pandora. So you detach from the fact that you're shooting. <laughs> it's capturing the Avatar version. Even though I'm big knife at tall and blue, it's got my personality. It's got my soul. That's quite spectacular that a computer generated. I'm always going to take with me is the fact that I was a part. Yeah.